it's important to have fun is what I think. And is, I mean, this is a game. And some of it was silly, but at the same time, they were having fun. They're playing with enthusiasm. They're playing hard. Things were going well. You know, the thing is, can you do that every day? You know, you got to bring that kind of enthusiasm to every practice. But I thought they, uh, I thought they were having fun yesterday. They were fun to, fun to be out there. This group had some nice moments last year. How much better can they be in year two of Dean's defense and under your tutelage? Well, I don't know. You know, th th that'll all be proven as we go forward. But I know this. They have a much greater comfort level with what we're doing, uh, how we're doing our business and, and the defense in general. And I think that year two in this defense is, is a positive for any player. And I think they've really taken to what we do and there's a lot of good communication going on out there. This time last year, Kenny, Kenny had just got here. Right, right. And now he's had a year in the system. It, that just seems like such a great acquisition. He seems to fit in so well with a room that was already really close. Yeah, and he really has. And, and right from the very beginning, Kenny made a statement as a player what kind of player he was gonna be. And, He's continued to do that, but the benefit of having him through the whole offseason and, and learning the defense from, from the very beginning uh, is huge for him. And his communication with Kevin right now is extraordinary. He has a great, they have a great bond together and, and they, they know what each other are doing out there. I think that's real positive. You see Adore give up a big play the other night, then yep. he sticks in and, and, and makes some plays. Made what a lot is, of plays. What does that, that say when you see a guy bounce back? I think it says a lot about his uh, toughness, his mental toughness. Uh, ability to scratch and fight and claw. He misplayed that ball on the touchdown, and that's something that we're not going to uh, celebrate. But after that, I thought he played really, really well and, and uh, played really hard down the stretch and had some good isolated coverage that was that was fantastic. And that was really good to see him bounce back from that. How have you been overall? You think the team? I think he's getting healthy. I, you know, I think that the whole uh, foot thing and taking care of all that in the off season slows you down a little bit in your development, your progress, and I think he's. He's getting better and better because he's getting healthy and he's starting to get, you know, we got to build his rep volume up and those kind of things, and I think he's getting there. The, the battle, I guess, for depth at, at corner, I mean, mm -hmm. how's Ta and maybe Deshaun and some of the guys are competing behind those guys? Well, I think the depth is, is fantastic in the room. I think those guys are competing. I think they have to compete. Uh, they have to be multiple position guys. They've got to be able to play some nickel. They've got to be able to play in a, in a sub package, and they've got to know and have various roles. They've got to be able to perform on special teams. And at the same time, they've got to compete to start. I, I don't want to coach anybody that's comfortable being a backup. I want to coach guys that want to fight and fight to be starters. You know, And, and I think those guys are, are developing that mindset. They're definitely going to get some good work this week with Tom Brady and the Patriots. Sure, out. sure. I mean, they'll test our secondary in every way, and that's a good thing. You know, we, that some of the things that, that we're able to do, uh, Tom Brady won't let you. And so we're going to have to go out there and have great competitive days. We'll have great one-on-ones going against another team. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. As a football fan, seeing Brady come here, exciting to see this on the field in this type of environment. You don't get to see this every day. Well, you know, I don't. I mean, I, I think it's exciting to practice against another team. It's different than a game environment. I think you learn a lot in those practices, I think there's great value in that. And, and you know, hadn't done that before last year with Tampa Bay. And now having been through that experience, I, I'm, I'm really excited about what they're gonna try to expose and how do we need to uh, counter those things. And, and obviously the, the talent level and, and the quality of coaching uh, is, is second to none. So we've gotta go out there and we gotta be on our best uh, every day. As a coach, are you excited for this challenge on Wednesday and Thursday? There's no doubt. I mean, well, I'm, you're excited. I'm excited every day I come out here. It doesn't matter to me who we're, who we're playing if it's just oh, us we or we're in shorts or we're in shoulder pads. But absolutely, when you get to play against somebody else, practice against somebody else, really teach in that environment, uh, I'm real excited for it. What stands out most about Bobby and Bobby Booker? Uh, and just kind of your early impression, do you think he could be sort of an X factor for this defense right away? Well, I think he's a diligent learner. I think he's an intelligent player. I think he plays hard. I think he tackles well. Uh, I, I think he's, he's – uh, He's not afraid to be in the NFL, you know, and some of the guys are a little hesitant, maybe a little tentative when they're young, and he's not. He, he fits right in. Uh, he takes a criticism well, and uh, he's playing hard, and, and uh, so I'm excited to see what he might add to our package. Is that something that's easy to see right from the get-go when he showed up as far as being ready, not being too big for him? Well, I think in the pre-draft process, you could see it, and, and, and you could, in conversations with him, I think that's why John... Uh, you know, and, and Mike drafted them. And, and I think that that has been, we haven't been disappointed. That's continued and, and probably been enhanced every day that he's here.